Every single one of these shots I filmed totally by myself. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the three different pieces of equipment that I have that help me film myself with cinematic movement. Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I love you. And if you're not new here, I also love you. Bringing back the duo tone here, haven't shot a video in this setup in a bit, so let's get into it. Maybe you're making a short film or a comedy skit or maybe just any sort of YouTube video or vlog. And within this video, you want some cinematic camera movement, but you don't have anybody around to hold the camera and film you. With these three pieces of equipment that I'm gonna be talking about, you'll be able to film yourself with cinematic movement. All the gear that I'm gonna talk about today, I'm gonna put in the description below. And all the gear that I'm talking about today, I think is really helpful to have as a filmmaker, regardless of if you're filming yourself or not. And stick around to the end for a bonus camera move. First up, number one, the gimbal. In these shots, I got all the camera movement totally by myself by using my DJI Ronin SC. Outdated, I know. Somebody sent me a new gimbal. DJI has an app that you can download on your phone that connects to your gimbal. And on the app, there is a mode called track. Within track mode, you can set your camera to different points or different camera positions. You can actually set up to 10 different points if you're an absolute psychopath. You can set the movement duration, so how long it'll take to get from one point to the next point. And you can also set the stay time, so how long it'll stay at each point before it moves on to the next one. And when you're ready to go, all you gotta do is press the red button and watch your camera begin to move on its own on your gimbal. I've used this in multiple of my short films and in my YouTube videos to get movement by myself. The hardest thing about it is probably just getting the timing right, like timing up when your camera's gonna move and when you want to move and everything like that. But overall, if you're looking to get a piece of equipment that'll help you film yourself, the gimbal is an awesome, awesome, awesome tool to have in order to do that. But regardless of if you're filming yourself or not, I always recommend having a gimbal because having a gimbal is just one of the most useful tools that I have as a filmmaker. Now, the second piece of gear we got is the drone. I'm rocking the DJI Mini 2, and I used it to get shots like this totally by myself. Now the drone can give you a very unique perspective for filming yourself. Now there's probably not a ton of shots that you're gonna wanna use your drone for because you're probably not gonna be filming an entire short film or video or skit just using your drone. But you can definitely get movement in your shots while you're filming yourself. And sometimes not even with movement, but just unique angles, like top down shots that you wouldn't be able to get otherwise. So for me, because I'm rocking the DJI Mini 2, I kind of have to hide my controller in the shot and just move the joystick to get the camera to move. But some drones, like the newer drones, have like an auto tracking feature that you're drone will just follow you where you go or it'll do a specific movement that you want it to do. Speaking of the word track, today's video is sponsored by Track Club. Do you see what I did there? Do you, do you get it? Do you get the Track Club is a new music licensing subscription for creators. It is the perfect place for you to find high quality music made by real artists for all of your projects. Whether you're making a short film, a comedy skit, or a YouTube video, it has a hyper curated library of music. So you're not gonna have to go through thousands of songs to find the right one. And Track Club has a feature called Mix Lab, a feature that I have never seen on any other music licensing subscription. Basically what this feature does is it allows you to customize music for your project. Once once you find a song you like, you can change the volume, you can mute or solo individual sounds or instruments, and you can even speed up or slow down your songs. Every individual stem of the tracks you like are at your disposal to customize. If you're looking for a music subscription that allows you to customize music for your projects, hit the link in the description below to get a free month of Track Club. And Track Club actually donates 10% of all its profits back to community organizations, which is another reason why I was super excited to partner with Track Club. So hit the link below to check them out. Okay, on to the third and final piece of equipment that will help you get cinematic camera movement of yourself the motorized slider. And don't forget to stick around after this for that bonus camera movement. I use my GVM motorized camera slider to get shots like this totally by myself. With the slider, it has this little remote that allows you to set the start point and the end point, and you can adjust the speed for how long it'll take your camera to get from one point to the other. You can even put your slider on this auto loop feature that'll just keep your camera going back and forth from one point to the next. So if you mess up your shot or you wanna try again, the camera will just continue to loop until you get it right. In my opinion, this piece of equipment will give you the most cinematic looking shots. I use this to slowly push in, pull out, or move left to right. 
I also recommend putting something in the foreground so you really see that movement happening in your camera. This slider also has this little bar in the middle of the track that you can pull one way or another. And while your camera is sliding, it will turn the camera to give you a really cool like parallax looking image. And just like the rest of this gear, I use it for far more than just filming short films by myself. I use this for interviews and product commercials. It's an awesome piece of equipment to have regardless of if you're filming yourself or not. Now time for that bonus camera move I was talking about earlier. Now if you take your gimbal and you put it onto your slider, you can get some really cool combo shots, moving in or out, left or right, with a pan or a tilt at the same time. Now you're getting real crazy when you use these. It's like camera equipment puzzles. It's like camera equipment transformers. It's like when you, when, you, and you got, and, and then. So those are the three pieces of equipment that will help you film yourself with cinematic camera movement. If you liked this video or found it helpful, give it a like because believe it or not, it actually helps me and the channel a ton when you do that. And if you haven't, I would love for you to consider subscribing to the channel because like I said earlier, I love you. My name is Nate, keep telling stories and I'll see you in the next video. I haven't shot a video like this in a long time in this setup. It's a little different. If you've watched this channel for a while, it is a little different. I did a little lower up. I kind of want to reveal, kind of want to show those lights up there in the back there. And I may or may not be using a different camera. Maybe I'll talk about it. Maybe I just might.